welcome to my channel welcome to the fifth 16th i'm mixing my days up now um it's the 16th it is thursday um well it's been a day um <laughs> it's been a day anyway if you're not already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing watch the video subscribe ring the bell the notifications that you'll get next videos i am uploading on a daily basis and yes it's a little bit exhausting trying to get the uploading feel like you've got something to talk about but stick around you never know what might come out in the end um these videos are all about the nice box up until christmas day and after that it is the forbidden fiber box which is wool um and if you're into all things yarny then please stick around for that as well um I did the Metamorph Magus scarf with the Forbidden Fibre pattern last year. Sorry, this year. I knitted it this year. It was the Har for, uh, my goodness. Harry Potter um, colours of year two last year. And it's year three this year. So yeah, stick around um, if you would like to see those. But stick around because I do whip and chats and talk for an hour while I work and while you can work and show you things and all sorts of stuff. So, welcome. Welcome to anyone who is new. All right, let's start with this because this is why you're here if you're not here for me. <laughs> I know. Uh, 16, it is a birdie in a beanie. Well, Technically, are they beanies if they've got pom-poms on the end? What is a beanies? I don't know. Are, are beanies? Do beanies have pom-poms? Answers on a postcard, please. All right. Scratching. And we'll see what's in here. I still haven't read it. I, I know, I've scratched it, I'm watching what I'm doing, but I'm more interested in this. It's, it's kind of noisy. What do we think it is? I mean, it's not very big. It's palm sized. Do, okay, my guess is going to be that it's like a, a ring with a thingamajiggy on it, which could mean Trying to think of the lady's name. I can see her, but I can't think of her name. She was in the um. Oh gosh, words now. Um, she was in some of the chats with Connie. Connie has a business doing these. I would love to know if this is going to be from Connie. Uh, it is an exclusive cross stitch shop threaded thread. Jewelry designed by the Black Needle Society. It's always nice to get your threads from an LNS, even a charm sized one. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you've got the charm ring, which is actually smaller than some rings. But look, it's a cross stitch store. How cool! So it's got the old-fashioned frontage with the little clo open-closed sign and the windows. And of course my phone is being a complete dill brain and won't focus because, you know, why? Our... Okay. That seems to be kind of okay. But looky, looky, looky! Isn't that cute? So ye oldy fashioned with the awning and the flowers and kind of thing that's cool so I don't know if this is made with um made by Connie it's um it possibly not it's got a wizard pin logo on the back so wizard pins have um they originally made it in the enamel bit so yeah um and it's designed by the Black Needle Society so they may not have gone through Connie Connie may not have been able to do it for this nice box I don't know um Connie was able to do Rogwarts or Gilmore Girls, she did one of these 
no no it was actually the pirates box which may have been a smaller subscriber list and why connie may have been able to do it maybe there's too many people getting this kind of thing with a nice list these are handy now what i actually do want to do is get pegboard for my room and be able to start actually dangling flosses and stuff out in the open and i would like to have these to put them on i've got a few rings now and i've got some rings from aliexpress as well which are just a, a flexible so they open up fully like a wire um and store just like a long line but i'm, I'm getting a few of these now including um ones that I've got from the Harry Potter Forbidden Fibre Box last year, which is almost identical to the one that we got in Frogwarts this year, which is the little diary, Tom Riddle's diary and the basilisk um, tooth. And yeah, there are, I think the diary itself is the same size, but the jump rings that they're on is different. So I like having all those bits and pieces that I can then... Um, gather my floss or gather inspiration from if I want to go from floss in my stash just if that makes more sense what I do with my projects is I store them in a project bag which you can't see in um, and I generally uh, will put things into floss bags because I use every scrap of the thread so I will use threads in floss bags and yes I could punch holes in them and then put them onto the jump rings and I may end up doing that if I've got somewhere to display them at the moment they're just in Systema 11 liter 7 8 liter tubs in here uh, just for my extras and that's just extras anything that is assigned to a project is generally fully kitted unless it's my head, which I have cannibalized for other projects now because the 25 count with the um, easy marking, ugh, I'm hating it. So I've got to find something else that I can work with to do my um, head on, which I really want to do because it's actually my saying that I use in any other video except these kind of vloggy everyday videos. Um, I will actually, um, I use the Irish saying, may the road ride up, rise up to meet you, may the wind be always on, may the sun be always on your back, may the wind be always, gosh, may the wind be always at your back, may the sun be always on your face and um, may the rain so fall softly upon your fields and until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Jeepers. Um, so it's an Irish saying and... The designer is uh, Corey Biziak. Anyway, it's a partial and it's Irish, it's Celtic and it's a Celtic lion, dog. I don't know that anyone ever knew, knows what the animals are in the Celtic kind of Book of Kells tradition of swirly whirly animally things that are in the book of Kells. So it's that kind of tradition and um, it's a partial. So I don't really need it to be white, which would be boring as anything um, if it was washed. So I'm quite happy to go for a dyed piece and in a higher count, maybe an 18 count and do it one or two over one rather than a 25, but I need to do my maths and figure out how big a piece it's going to turn out to be. Um, yes, because the 10 stitch, one over one on 25 count, or even two over one was just ridiculous and I couldn't count for love nor money. And I just put it into the too hard basket and regret not getting back to it. So I would like to get back to it rather than cannibalizing it. Um, but all those colours that were in the head are still in projects. Uh, sorry, I was saying there um, about how I've cannibalised the head. I'd like to get it restarted because it is something that's important to me. All right. Um, yeah, it's been a day. Hubby's got the dinner cooking now. Um, uh, I looked at the weather forecast for this afternoon. Sophie was talking about rocks or something, and I was kind of going, 
Oh, we could go to a beach and maybe collect some rocks or do something fun like that on the weekend. So I looked up the weather. Every other weekend, it's been raining. This weekend, 31 degrees. What the hell? Like, we barely just got into the 20s and then we get, bang, 31. What? That's mainland weather. Go away. We don't want you. Um, you know how I shared yesterday about how, you know, we aren't used to COVID and blah, 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 and the borders were reopening yesterday? Yeah, COVID's already in. Um, a guy apparently came in as a close contact of somebody on the mainland, had tested negative previously, was told, go and get retested. Bang, COVID positive. And he's been in our community. <laughs> And some horrific news at the end of the school year for us in Australia, because we're coming into summer holidays, um, the end of the school year and there was a school party and a bouncy castle, bouncing thingamajiggy and zorb balls were hit by a gust of wind and children have been killed by this horrific accident. And it's just, it's devastating going to be even more devastating to the locals in the community there but it's just devastating news to hear in our small state it's hit international news if you have already heard yes it's in my state but it's up where friends live not where i live um but yeah grades grade five six uh grade five six which is for 10 11 year old kids um and nine children badly hurt and i think of the nine four of those have already died today so that was um that was some crap news to be getting in the middle of a work day and it only got worse as the numbers escalated so devastating for teachers staff families grieving in the week before christmas it's just shit so yeah it's been a bit of a day and an hour an hour's overtime for me and staring down the barrel of a gun with a 13 day shift sorry a 13 hour shift at the start of a seven day run over the christmas period and i'm kind of thinking okay i stepped on the chinaman or something no it was already rostered for the seven days but not the extra five hours over time yeah okay i'm going to need chocolate and ice cream and alcohol i don't know what i'm actually going to need and I may end up pre-recording my video for that Monday because I'm not going to maybe get the time in on the Monday itself due to those crazy hours. So, uh, what day is that? So this, this is, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Monday is the 20th. The presents are getting bigger. <laughs> I did actually have a look at the box bag thingamajiggy for tomorrow. It's it's chunky it's noisy i cannot wait to see it and it's the one of the heaviest things in the box i kid you not one of the heaviest items on um, of a single item in the box heavier even than the 25th so i'm wondering if no i'll ixnay on the spoilers you get none all right we can have all our guesses tomorrow and um yes i'll see you then on the start of my weekend friday yay so yeah all right thanks for joining me and i'll see you tomorrow bye